hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is NJ you guys first of all before I get into this video I want to apologize for my mood for not being my usual smiley self you know and all of that good stuff I apologize but this is not the kind of video that I should be smiling up and down because the issue I'm about to talk about in fact it's 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 the most annoying thing ever, you guys. So um, yesterday, um, my friend Sandra, some of you may know Sandra, some of you may not, but Sandra is my friend. Yeah, and here on YouTube, she's Sandra's reality. I'll put a link to her channel in my description box below. So yesterday morning, Sandra um, sent me a chat on WhatsApp and she was like, ah, NJC, email somebody, an email somebody sent to me. And she sends the email and I go through it and I'm like, oh my God, what is happening? Why? Why do people feel the need to spread so much hate in this in this world? Like, why would somebody just wake up and want to send that kind of message? You guys, for those of you who... I know some of you may have already watched Sandra's video yesterday because she put out a video yesterday addressing that e email. But yeah, all the same, I'm going to read out the email for you guys. I'll read it step by step and I'm just going to talk about it as I read, okay? This message, it's quite long. It's quite long and it's in like three paragraphs so I'm just going to read it paragraph by paragraph so it goes like this hello Sandra how are you and your family I hope you are all okay I listened to your first story on YouTube and since then I have been watching your videos you have gone through a lot in life which I believe should make you a better person there's something I would like to bring to your attention Social media is an open space where information flies around. As an influencer, you need to be real because your subscribers can see and feel it. Okay. I understand that your experiences in life have left some negative traits in you that you need to work on. Sandra, you have benefited a lot from people since you started your YouTube. You stay in front of the camera and tell us how unfair life has been to you and people help you out of pity. Now, first of all, this person says, um, I understand that your experiences in life have left you with some negative traits and some negative traits you need to work on. I don't understand. What negative traits are you talking about? If anything, what Sandra has been through in life has made her stronger, both uh, physically, like she said, spiritually, mentally, everything. It has made her so strong because she had to be strong for her kids and it has made her a better person. For your information, this message actually was sent by one Felicia Hinua. Mama Felicia, no. Her experiences in life, they haven't left her with any negative traits. Instead, they've made her better. They've, they've made her stronger. They've made her like a the better version of herself, the self she used to be. Okay, so please get that notion out of your mind. And here she says, you have benefited a lot from people since you started your channel. You stay in front of the camera and tell us how unfair life has been to you and people help you out of pity. Sandra is not sharing her story with us, with everyone, so that we will feel some sort of pity towards her. No, she shares her story with the main aim, with the sole aim of somehow inspiring someone even if it's one person inspiring someone you know giving somebody hope because really sandra has been through a lot and if she could go through all that and she's where she is today my dear anyone going through a similar you know um situation can relate and can actually get strength from her stories so my dear she's not telling you her stories to pity her and those who reach out to her to to help her they're not reaching out of out of pity some of them reach out to her out of love kindness you know just so many reasons but pity i don't think pity is it people listen to her story and a lot of people can relate a lot of people can relate to her stories and they reach out to her to just you know bless her in one way or another so please she's not here to let people she's not here to make people pity her no she's here so that someone out there somebody anybody can get inspired by her story learn one or two things and just just get to know more about her and her life experiences okay now the person let me continue reading the email this is where it gets really annoying why do you block subscribers from helping other people why do you want to eat alone if you think deeply, you understand where I'm coming from. First of all, Sandra is not somebody that blocks another person's blessings. In fact, she, will, she would rather like help you get that blessing self before her. She does not block other people's help. 
at all. She, that's that's one thing sometimes. I'm like, Sandra, think about yourself first before other people. Think about yourself because she's just so used to thinking about other people. You know, the thing is, sometimes some subscribers reach out to her and maybe send her a token and she will use it the same way they sent it. She will go and use it and help somebody else. There are a lot of widows. Sometimes we we'll drive all the way to her mother's village because she wants to use that money somebody gave her to help somebody else, to help other families. So saying that she prevents, you know, why, 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 that she prevents other subscribers from helping other people, that's a big lie. Even all those um, people that she has shown on her channel, like the woman who makes the tiger nut juice, the lady who makes their bachan, others, and people reach out to help them. She's so happy, she contacts those people, and whatever her, the subscribers send, she gives it to them. Sometimes she goes ahead to even let them make a video, tell them to make a video so that she could send to those people that have sent those things, you know? That's how far she goes. Just so that subscribers will know that she actually did what she was told and everything. So please, Sandra is not somebody that blocks other people's blessings. Get that no stupid notion out of your head. Let me just go on with the email. Okay, then she goes ahead to say, Several people on YouTube have tried to reach out to others through you, but she stopped them. You need to pray against greed and envy because it's about to mess up your YouTube career. You see, greed and envy, there are two words that don't even, they don't fall in line in Sandra's life. Those are two words that could never apply to Sandra. Now, say that so many, several people have tried to reach out to her, um, to, uh, th to reach out to others through her. The only person, the only YouTuber actually, somebody has ever tried to reach out to her mother. is also an Oka YouTuber in, uh, called Linda. It, some of you may know her, some of you may not. And a subscriber reached out to Sandra asking her to, you know, tell her that she had been trying to reach Linda because she wanted to give to her mom, send her mom some money, but Linda hasn't responded. And that Sandra, she please, since they live in the same, um, you know, place, um, would Sandra be able to, you know, get, collect the money and then somehow let it get to Linda's mom. And then Sandra thought about it and she told the subscriber ah, that she doesn't think that's a good idea but that she was going to contact Linda. She doesn't have her number anymore since she lost her contact when she lost her phone but that she could contact her on Instagram. She even asked the subscriber if she could like just contact her directly on Instagram and the subscriber said that she didn't have an Instagram account. So Sandra agreed to reach out to Linda. Okay? And now when Sandra was done with that call, she called me immediately and she said NJ, see what happened? Oh, should I have have collected this money and just called Linda or oh, do you think I did the right thing and I told her po point black Sandra you did the right thing I would not accept the money and you shouldn't accept the money so I don't think it's a good idea just like you told the lady why not just go to Instagram contact Linda and tell her what's up you know maybe she will be willing for you to give her the woman's number or she could give you her number again and you give it to the woman whichever way just do it the way you already said so Sandra went ahead and sent the message to Linda telling her, see, oh, there's a subscriber that wants to reach out to your mom and all that, you know, she has tried to contact you, but you didn't respond. I know the funny thing is that Linda read it and she never responded. So Sandra didn't know what to do, you know, and all those kind of things. So there was no way she could, if Linda could read the message and didn't respond, Sandra couldn't, it's not possible that she would go and collect the money and then give it to Linda. So Linda read your message and did not respond. What else? If you were in her shoes, please tell me, what would you do? What she did, don't you think it was the best? I personally, I thought it was the best. It was the best thing she could have done, and she did it. So apart from that, there's no other YouTuber that anyone has tried to reach out to, um, to through Sandra. No one at all. And all those other people that have come on Sandra's channel, like the Abacha Lady, the, um, the um, Tiger Nut Woman, and all that, they always reach out to Sandra. Some of them, Sandra gave the numbers and the others that she got, she gave them exactly what she got and they made a video and she was, she sent to the subscribers. So like everything has been plain and all the subscribers that sent something to those people, they know that Sandra did it and they know that those people got it because <laughs> Sandra will always make them say thank you. So apart from that, yeah, there's no other YouTuber that anyone has ever tried to reach through Sandra. Okay, I'm just going to go on and read the message. Eh. I'm trying for this video not to be too long, but I'm just too angry right now. Um, okay, the person goes ahead to say, you, you claim to be a Christian, but you allow money to rule you. You guys, it, it, yeah, Mama Felicia Enuma, 
You were saying that Sandra allows money to rule her. Have you even, do you even watch her videos? Have you, do you know that she has had so many opportunities to, in fact, be rich, to do things that will make her get money? And she didn't. Did you watch her story on how she nearly went into, got into prostitution just to be able to care for her kids? Did you? I don't think you did. Because if you, if you do follow Sandra, like Sandra said, I think you, you just sent her this email based on the wrong information. You didn't do your investigations. You did, as, well, you don't have a brain because if you did, you, would have, you wouldn't have taken what someone told you and then sent her this message. You would have thought about it and actually gone ahead to like watch her videos and get to know a little about her before you open, you use your hand and type rubbish. Anyways, I'll just go on. Um, a lot of people on YouTube are starting to see you as a greedy and envious person. When people help you, allow them to help others. If they ask for information that will help another person, give it to them if you have it. I'm telling you this because many people have tested you and you failed. The love for money is the root of all evil. Money is not everything. Oh God. I'll just go ahead and keep reading. Stop taking advantage of subscribers who are helping you. You know how you have been managing your life before you started your YouTube channel. So stop making unrealistic demands from your subscribers. Sandra has never made any demand of her subscribers. And when she started this channel, when she started telling her stories, she never for one day told you, said, said anything like, oh, that she's suffering now and all that. She's telling you guys about her past experiences. Yes, life is not all rosy for her right now, but her life is way, way, way better than it was so many years ago. Like around the time she lost her husband and years after that. Of course, her life is way better now. And so she will, she's just telling her stories to be able to inspire somebody out there, for people to get to know that these things happen in life and if she could get through it anyone can you know so please there, she has never made any demands of any demands of um, her subscribers or anything like that she has never done anything like that and she will never you guys don't even understand that Sandra does not even want to if Sandra shares her story you people that are explaining that people are reaching out to her if Sandra shares her stories with you guys the deep ones even you that you're saying this thing you will call her and tell her well done she has been through so much. I know a lot of people go through a lot. But we know what we know, right? What we don't know, we don't know. And we know these, these things about Sandra because she shares it on her YouTube. And I personally know because I am her friend. And we talk about these things. You guys, if... <laughs> Never mind. I'll just go ahead and keep reading. Okay? If you can't afford something, turn your face away from that thing instead of putting pressure on your subscribers. <laughs> Oh my God, where do I start with this one? Sandra has never put pressure on anybody to do anything for her. Sandra would need something and she would rather, you know, just keep it in her without saying anything to anybody. Me and her, we had, we've had a lot of arguments, quarrels, fights about this particular thing. Sandra will be dying and when she sees you, she's smiling and acting like everything is normal. And if you're not observant enough, you will never catch it. You will never know that something is wrong. So this thing you're saying that um, when she can't afford something, instead of putting pressures on, on her subscribers, she should just turn away from that thing. Like, she, Sandra is not a greedy person. She's not someone that wants things that she cannot afford. Never. She does, although, actually, although if me full coach, John, no. She cuts her coat according to her size. Anything Sandra does, anything she buys, know that she can afford it. She needs it or something. She never goes for something that she does not need maybe because others are doing it or I want it. No, she's not that kind of person. So please get your information right before you start talking rubbish like a very foolish person. Okay? If someone gives you something, appreciate it instead of asking for more at the expense of another person who could have benefited from. I don't even understand. Is it paining you that people are uh, actually reaching out to Sandra, uh, Felicia Enuma? Is it paining you? How is it? Is it you? It's not you that is doing the reaching out to and it's paining you like this. What, what is this? Eh? Why, is, why are you so pained in your soul? Like why? Why do you have to do things like that? <laughs> okay. Stop the secret competition with your fellow content creators who are just busy living their lives. Like who, who is Sandra competing with? For God's sake, Sandra's channel is growing like wildfire. She doesn't need to compete with anyone. I personally, I think it's people who are trying to compete with her or people who, who stay on YouTube before her and they can see that she's almost at the same subscriber count as them and they are like, oh my God, how is this possible? How? But see, Sandra, Sandra carries a lot of grace. 
She's not in any competition with any YouTuber, nothing, nothing like that. She's just there living her life, try, working hard to grow her channel. Sandra is one of the most work, hard working um, YouTubers I know. You guys would know. She puts her videos back to back. Like she, Sandra wakes up in the morning thinking about how to create content. So you don't have to be jealous that her, uh, her channel is growing faster than yours or anything like that. Just how, how about be happy for her? And how about be happy for her? This YouTube space is big enough. It's big enough. It can fit all of us. So please, if you are the one in a competition with her, I think you should just give up. You cannot even compete because the grace she carries is way bigger than yours. She's going to keep going and she's going to surpass every but In fact, I'm sure a lot of you already know this, Sha. You don't have to be jealous of Sandra. How about learn from her? Eh? How, how about learn from her? Learn how to be hardworking. Learn how to be consistent. Like her, learn how to be content too with what you have, with the subscribers you have, and then just pray for more. I'll just go, go on and read. Don't allow greed to tarnish your image on YouTube. Live a good life, and God will send helpers your way. Stop saying things to please your friends on your channel. Hey, God. First of all, Sandra is not a people pleaser. Not one bit. Not a people pleaser. She gives you just as much as you give her. When you give her kindness, when you give her love, she gives you love, she gives you kindness. Whatever you give to her, that's what you get from Sandra. What, that's the thing. If you give her, if you give her Wahala, you will get Wahala triple. You will, I'm sure you will see her on my channel. You know she's a troublemaker. But whatever you give Sandra, that's what she gives you. She doesn't do it. She's not a people pleaser. She doesn't do things to please people. To any person that I will say that sometimes she even tries to please her parents, you know, because they're her parents sometimes. She's just like, okay, fine, let me do this their way so they will be happy. But apart from that, Sandra is not a people pleaser. She doesn't live her life to please people. So please, get that out of your blocked brain. As a child of God, speak the truth no matter what. Live and let others live. I know that this will be coming as a shock to you, but that's the power of social media. The world have ears. You need to be careful. A word is enough for the wise. I think this is ours nonsense, like rubbish. This is rubbish. How can someone just wake up in the morning? Maybe the person has been misinformed or something. And then as the full-blown adult that you are, you didn't think that it was necessary to like just do your own research and all of those things before you come out and say trash. How stupid do you feel right now? I hope you're happy, Felicia Enuma. As we've, been, we've just been calling your name up and down. I hope it makes you happy. I hope you get some kind of relevance that you hoped to get by sending this email. I just hope because God you just proved how stupid you are how you don't think how you don't reason like maybe you should go back to primary school so that they can instill that you know sense of um, independence in you independent um, independent thinking so that you can think for yourself even when someone says something to you learn to think and then reason within yourself to know you know which way you should go anyways I'm just going to read Sandra's response to this person because Sandra actually sent a response to them before making that video yesterday so she said, um, Jesus, I rebuke you and all your advocates in Jesus' name. If the covenant of day and night still exists, may you attract a cause that will be generational. I know people like you are on my channel, but I am sorry if you know me, but I'm sorry if you know me too well. I don't think you will come out here and start talking this trash. If I'm a greedy person, you won't meet me in this condition I am today because I have seen so many opportunities to be rich at the expense of other people's happiness, but I refused it. May you and all be judged according for this accordingly for this allegation. And if I am found guilty of whatever you and your cohorts, cohorts accuse me of, may God judge me too. The supreme authority, which is God, who sees in the secret and open will be the only one to expose you and all your perpetrators of evil. You guys, that was Sandra's response to this hate message she got. And really, like she said, Sandra has had so many opportunities to make money at the expense of others. But with the kind of person Sandra is, she cannot, in fact, she cannot even stand to think about hurting other people or about making gain. You know at other people's expense she's that kind of person if you get to know sandra you know that she's selfless and she's selfless she's kind she's god-fearing very important and me i'm a very kind of quiet person and i like to be on my own i don't have wahala 
And so before I make friends, I have to know the kind of person you are. And first I met Sandra, she had this issue with somebody and you know, she flared up and she talked and talked and me, I was like, ah, no, not this person. But at the end of the day, I got to know her better and I'm like, oh my God, what, what was I even thinking? This is exactly the kind of friend I want and need. And since then we've been friends, we've been close. And reading this, reading this message, when Sandra sent it to me, I was confused. I was reading, I was confused. I was like, are you sure this is the same Sandra I know that this person is even talking about? That was how you know that these people, they're just misinformed. I know Sandra gets messages like this, you know, people coming to her channel, tell her, oh, why, why are you even telling you? So are you the only one that has suffered in life? People suffer. Please take your stories all, elsewhere, you know, things like that. Like, why are people, why are people so pained within them? Is her success so big for all of them haters like why what can't you just be happy for a girl can't you just be happy you wake up in the morning and you send her this kind of hate mail and then you're happy for the rest of the day it is god that will punish you it is god that will judge you do you understand mama felicia right whoever sent you whoever gave you you know whoever misinformed you i don't even blame that person i blame you because you just proved that you're a big mumu you cannot think for yourself you need people to be thinking for you up and down my dear Sandra, the only thing I have to say, I, I've already said this to you over the phone and everything. You don't have to listen to these haters. Sandra, people, don't, people cannot send you things like this or talk about you if you were not succeeding. If you were just there suffering, trust me, nobody will remember you. Nobody will say anything about you. You're getting these kind of hate mails and hate uh, messages and all, all those kind of you know, negative things because they can see you succeeding and it pain them. They can see you succeeding and they're not happy about it. They can see you catching up and even overtaking them, you know? And they're not happy about it, but your star is so bright. Like, someone like you, Sandra, like I always tell you, it's people like you that actually make it in life. Like, you're so hardworking. <laughs> if you don't make it in this life, then I know that there's no God. In fact, no, but people like us, we don't have hope now. Cassandra, you are one of the most hardworking um, people I've ever met in my life. And just keep going keep your head high and I know you like I know that sometimes it's even difficult for you to respond to messages people reaching out to you you guys if you know the ton of messages Sandra has on her Instagram that she has not responded to people that want to reach out to her and she keeps feeling some certain kind of way like NJ sometimes before she even puts out the video she sends the video to me and I watch and she's like NJ will anybody get any vibe from this thing that maybe I'm asking for anything right now I tell her no Sandra you're just telling your story whoever reads that kind of rubbish inside this story you know that person has Christ God because you're not there begging for anything you're just sharing your story this this is thing these are things that happened in your past you're not telling them it's happening now in your past and you've grown from there you've learned uh, from from the experiences and you're just sharing to try you know to see if there's anyone that could actually get you know some kind of value from the video so please share it it's nothing and yeah back to this Sandra please I know that this message it's, it's it's in fact it got you so upset and mad and i know that even now you hardly you, in fact you don't like accepting things from people when they reach out to you and i don't want this message to make you to make you even feel like more like you should stop responding to people's messages. Look, you've been through so much and you pray to God every day for a form of help. God will not come down from heaven to give you that help. God will help you through people. And when people reach out to you, personally, I believe that when you don't respond, you're kind of spitting on their faces. And apart from that, you're spitting on God's face because it's the same God that you've been praying to for help that actually sent those people. So please don't let this stupid Felicia Enuma just make you stop responding to your messages messages go ahead respond to your messages there are actually kind people out there there are people that actually sincerely want to reach out to you not for any gain or anything like that so please respond to your messages and don't let this get you know interfere with your life this is a hater and she will remain a hater unless she you know turns around i know that some people have actually sent you hate messages before and after the investigation after getting to know you they call you and they apologize Maybe Felicia will do so, maybe she will not, but we don't care. Just keep living your life, keep being who you are. You're an amazing person. I am so grateful to God every single day for giving me a friend like you. You are amazing, please. I don't need anything like this to bother you. So please, just keep being the Sandra that you are. We love you, we love your stories. We learn a lot from your stories. We get strength from your stories, Sandra. So please, don't you ever stop sharing your stories. And you know that story I've been begging you to share. 
we have to film it, we have to do it, we have to put it out because I believe that a lot of people are going to draw a lot of strength from that story, please. And yeah, you guys, I have to end this video. It's already longer than I ever even imagined it would be. And yeah, I've let it out. Mama Felicia, I hope you're happy. I've called your name multiple times in my video. I hope it gives you some form of relevance and all that. And yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed, seeing the angry nj don't forget to like comment share and of course please subscribe to my channel and yeah if you haven't seen sandra's uh, video the one she shared yesterday reacting to this email i'm going to put the link in my description box below so just go right ahead watch it and just listen to what she had to say to the hater felicia you guys thank you once again for watching and i'm going to see you in my next video bye